One of the most annoying trends these days is the trend of making things into trends. We've discussed this in the past. Gen Z is, in particular is obsessed with taking the most banal and commonplace activities, repackaging them with a new name and hashtag and acting like they invented the idea. And it seems like they're finally getting to the end of the list of routine human behaviors to trendify because the latest trend, which is not a trend, is the activity that up until now has been known as going for a walk. CBS News has the breaking news report. A new trend on TikTok may actually have some health benefits. Something called silent walking is trending on the social media app where TikTok users are encouraging people to walk without AirPods or headphones, podcasts or music, and without walking companions. Simply walk in silence without stimulation, distraction free. Proponents say it allows people to be alone with their thoughts, to feel more relaxed, to enjoy nature, to be more mindful and to think more clearly. Therapists agree. We're bombarded with so much noise all day long that silent walking can allow us to escape even if for just a short period of time. So you're not only getting the physical benefits, but the mental health benefits as well. Now, needless to say, this is incredible, incredible news. Uh, some local news stations around the country have been covering the trend as well because it's such big news. To be clear, uh, again, they have done actual news reports about walking. Uh, here's one. And a new trend on TikTok may actually have some health benefits. What's this all about? Okay, so it's something called silent walking. Okay. Have you heard of it? Yeah. No, it's trending on, on the social media app where TikTokers are actually encouraging people to go out and walk without AirPods or headphones, without podcasts and music playing, and without walking companions. Simply walk in silence without stimulation, distraction free. Proponents say it allows people to be alone with their thoughts. They feel more relaxed. They can enjoy nature. They can feel more mindful and think more clearly, and therapists are in agreement. We're mm. bombarded with so much noise all day long that silent walking can allow us to escape, even if for just a short period of time. So you're not only getting the physical benefits of the actual walking, but you're getting some mental health benefits as well. Now, this amazing idea, the idea called walking, is so radical and revolutionary that uh, you're probably wondering who invented it. Well, I can't tell you who invented walking. Um, I don't think any one particular person did, but I can tell you who has given herself credit for inventing it. That is a TikTok influencer named Maddie who made this video about the silent walking movement that she believes she pioneered. Watch. I'm committing it to one silent walk a day. Not me unintentionally starting a movement. It's called silent walking and it's about to change your life. So this all started when my nutritionist recommended that I start walking 30 minutes a day instead of doing like insane cardio like I used to. Those workouts were making my body inflamed. That's a story for another time. And as I was about to go out on my first 30 minute walk, my sweet boyfriend challenged me to walk without distractions. No AirPods, no podcast, no music, just me, myself and I. And at first I was like, no, my anxiety could never, which is probably what you're thinking. But something within me was like, let me just try it. And look, the first two minutes are mayhem. Your mind is racing, you're gonna have anxiety. Something happens after two minutes where your brain just gets into this flow state and everything is quiet. And suddenly you can hear yourself. Look, the universe and your intuition comes to you through whispers. So if you're never alone with your thoughts and you never get quiet, you're gonna miss the whispers. And those whispers are the most important to be paying attention to. After 30 minutes of silent walking, I suddenly had the clarity that I had been always looking for. The brain fog lifted. Suddenly all these ideas are flowing into me because I'm giving them space to enter. When you're listening to a podcast or music, you're distracting yourself. You're not letting the signs and the ideas have space to come to you. Every time I finish a silent walk, I have a new idea for my business. I've untangled a weird situation in my head that I've been ruminating over. And I feel like a lot of my current question marks get answered. Okay, now I think, I know you're thinking a few things. You're thinking, first of all, that she apparently has a whole other fascinating story about how cardio makes her body inflamed. Unfortunately, she is saving that epic saga for another time. So we'll have to stay tuned. You're also thinking that she seems to struggle with the concept of silent. It's supposed to be a silent walk, and yet she didn't shut up the entire time. So leave it to a woman to talk for 25 minutes about the concept of being silent. Of course, the activity that she's suggesting, even if she doesn't seem to have mastered it herself, is indeed very healthy and worthwhile. Walking in general is an advisable activity, something that every able-bodied person should try to fit into their day every day, really. And walking in silence, allowing yourself to think, to contemplate, to experience your immediate surroundings, 
is the best form of walking. Uh, you, you cannot have a healthy inner life or any inner life at all, really, if you don't have silence. To avoid silence is to avoid yourself, your own mind, your consciousness. So I have no problem with silent walking. You know, it, it, I think it's a very, a very good practice. The problem is that is that is the ignorance that leads these TikTok influencers to believe that they came up with the idea themselves. She started a movement, she brags. I mean, you might as well claim that you're the first person to mow your lawn or take a shower or microwave a bo- bag of popcorn. Hey, I started a movement, everybody. First, first I tied my shoes, and now everyone else is tying theirs too. This will change your life. Autumn is in full swing, which in my home means cozy nights in with my family. These crisp autumn nights are made so much better thanks to my friends at Tommy John. The perfect blend of comfort and breathability. Tommy John loungewear has a level of softness I've never experienced before. It's like it was designed to uh, envelop you in a world of pure luxury, as I always say. When you wear Tommy John, you're so much more comfortable uh, that you can do everything better. Even their underwear has dozens of comfort innovations. Tommy John uses a breathable, lightweight, moisture-wicking fabric with four times the stretch of competing brands. It can uh, keep you seven degrees cooler than cotton. With over 20 million pairs sold and thousands of five-star reviews, men across America are loving their Tommy Johns. Every purchase is backed by Tommy John's best pair you'll ever wear. It's free guarantee. You can get 20% off your first order right now at tommyjohn.com slash Walsh. That's 20% off at tommyjohn.com slash Walsh. See site for details. Now, perhaps this is a less ignorance than it is arrogance. Maybe it's a healthy mix of both. And this is the consequence of having younger generations that live in their own bubble, severed from or willfully ignoring the wisdom and guidance of their ancestors. Because what Maddie says about the value of cutting out all the noise is mostly true, of course. But if she'd been paying attention to anything but TikTok and Instagram, she would know that a great many wise and intelligent people through history have already said quite a lot about con- you know, uh, contemplative silence and its spiritual and psychological benefits. But like so many in her generation, she hasn't paid attention to what anyone has said about anything. So she believes she's stumbled upon some hidden truth that 10 billion people before her managed to figure out without any of the fanfare or hashtags. Now, I say that she's uh, mostly right because she can't help but veer off into the self-help, change your life in three easy steps nonsense at the end. She says that every time she walks down the street in silence, she comes up with some great idea for her business or she solves some riddle that she's been stumped by uh, and she's left with a feeling of clarity. But the truth is that walking in silence is not a magic trick. It's not going to deliver the secrets of the universe to you. Most of the time, uh, you you won't think of anything profound or life-changing. And if you decide to um, contemplate in silence with the expectation that brilliant insights and profitable business ideas will pop into your head automatically as a reward, then you're certain to get nothing out of it. That's because the main benefit of having moments of silence is simply that it gives you an opportunity to be human, to exist in the current moment, to think about anything at all to be something other than an overstimulated automaton constantly consuming content just for the sake of it. Okay, that's why you should have silence in your life, for its own sake, just because, just because you're a person and people are supposed to have that. And that's why the video I just played of this woman is uh, actually quite disturbing. Because Maddie says that she was initially terrified of walking down the street in silence. The first two minutes were mayhem, she claims. Now think about that for a moment. Two minutes, two minutes without listening to something or looking at her phone caused internal chaos, a mental crisis. Two minutes. It was a great challenge to simply exist for two minutes without any form of electronic engagement. This was a harrowing ordeal for her. And and, and not only that, but she's walking the whole time. I mean, imagine, imagine if she tried actually, here's here's a, you know, this is like the, you know, the next, the next level. Okay, from, from silent walking, try this, try this. Try silent sitting. Try sitting somewhere without any engagement, without looking at your phone for five minutes. And, and just sitting there. And, and I'm not saying you're meditating or doing yoga. You're just sitting somewhere and you're existing and you're thinking. Imagine doing that. Because at least when you're walking, you have the stimulation of walking, you're seeing things. Did you know that like, that's something people used to do all the time. It, you, you would just, you would have times in, during your day where you're just kind of like sitting there and you're just sitting. That's all you're doing and you're thinking and that's it. That's a thing people used to do a lot. 
Well, she, they're not even, she's, Maddie's not even close to that. That's like, that's 10 years down the line. She, that's, that is, uh, that's, she's not even JV. That's varsity. That's D1 college level. Um, anyway, she's sure that, that most in her audience uh, will have the same experience as her, uh, that it will be just as challenging for them. And she's probably right. Because this generation is so overstimulated, so attached to their phones, so digitally dependent, that walking down the street for two minutes in silence, two minutes, it's like climbing some great summit. This is their Mount Everest. That's why they consider walking in silence to be revolutionary. It is so far outside of their normal experience and requires so much effort on their part that they assume they've discovered something new. They don't realize that it is, in fact, the most accessible and normal human experience made inaccessible and abnormal for them because they have been raised like robots rather than people, which isn't their fault, to be fair. We have now a generation of human beings, multiple generations and counting, who don't know how to simply exist. They don't know how to be in the world, how to be human. They don't know how to do it. They only know how to be consumers, consumers of products, of content, of light, of noise, of sounds, of images, and they have to have that bombarding them all the time, or they just, they can't, they don't know what to do. Many of them have spent, have have never in their lives spent even two minutes at a time not consuming. Think about that. There, There are probably millions of people walking around who have never spent two minutes not consuming something. It is terrifying to think that we will soon live in a world exclusively populated by people like this. People who don't know how to be people. That's what we really learn from the silent walking trend. And that is why we are not canceling Gen Z for this. Rather, I think it is the parents who raised them this way who are today uh, canceled. If you'd like to see what else I have to say, you can access my full show by going to dailywire.com or by going to the Matt Wall Show Twitter page. Hope to see you there. Godspeed.